So Honor just released their wildest technology and footwear to date and honestly, I can't even imagine how other sportswear brands are feeling right now. Like this is so outside of the box of traditional footwear techniques and design. So like, this is a big flex for On. So for me, I think the most unique thing about this is the guy that came up with the technology actually got his inspiration from seeing a spiderweb gun at Halloween. Basically like a hot glue gun spraying out spiderweb. And then someone from On's design team saw him at a fair presenting this and literally instantly went back to the on team and was like oh my god you've got to see this and then within three weeks they'd sent him to their hq where he did a big presentation on his idea and then this actually went on to be their most like high priority piece in their innovation department like this guy wasn't even a footwear designer and he's literally gone on to change the entire run and shoot industry like big up yourself huh? like that is a boss move so obviously this whole technology is done through a robot and they've spent the last five years being able to program it figure out how to get the filaments onto it, build this helix thing that they've got going on, figure out how to make the breathability components and strategically place the filament. And they've obviously had thousands and thousands of prototypes on this to make the perfect pair. So ultimately, Light Spray is a technology which allows them to very quickly and easily create the entire upper of the shoe. They basically start by beating a polymer into this robot machine, which then turns it into a filament, and then it sprays it onto the midsole and then continues to create the entire upper of the shoe, literally in one go. Like, it's honestly so insane when you think about it like that. They obviously place more filaments around the places that need a little bit more structure, and you can actually see here on the top of the shoe that there's quite a little bit more space in between them to make sure that the shoe is still as breathable as possible. And this literally is gonna fit like a glove. They can also do this in just three minutes, which is wild compared to traditional techniques that take weeks or even months to create a prototype. This is obviously great as well for athlete feedback. They can literally whip one up there on the spot, get the athlete to try it, get their feedback, make some adjustments. Like they've literally cheated the system. I don't know what other sportswear brands are gonna be thinking right now, but fuck me, I would be scared. This also really challenges traditional footwear techniques because obviously it doesn't need a tongue, laces, stitches, excess glue, water that's used in the production. So outside of the light spray technology, it's also got on Hellion Hyper Foam in there for high speed energy return. It's also got a spoon shaped speed board in the middle there to absorb and transfer the energy. We've also got the clouds in there as well, which pretty much covers two thirds of the foot. So you're really going to be able to feel those clouds in there and this is going to create a smoother and faster roll through. Then it's also finished off with their Mission Grip outsole. So they don't come with an insole, but they have added what they call a top cloth, which basically imitates the insole but sits directly on the foam. This is super thin as well and that's basically so that they can increase that super foam stack height to the max. So when it comes to the stack, it's got 39 millimeters in the heel with a four millimeter drop and this is a women's US 7 and it weighs 158 grams. That is literally one of the lightest running shoes that you can get on the market. Right, let's actually look at it under a microscope then. Parts of it honestly just look like it's slime, like these yellowy greeny bits are actually wild. Like as you can see, there's some sections which have got a lot more holes than others and this is obviously strategically placed so that you can have still a lot of breathability in there. Around the ankle does look semi unfinished, but honestly like how else are they gonna do it if they don't wanna have any other materials on there? Like come on, you can't can't tell me that is not insane. On's prio is to make you win, guys. Like this shoe really is for the most elite runners out there, which I'm really not saying is me, but you know me, I had to pick these up. Helena Beery also won bronze in these in the Paris Marathon. On are not here to play. These aren't meant for no regular runs. Like these are meant to make you win. 